Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be continuing What if Naruto had the powers of Aaron from Attack on Titan? Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So when Naruto turns his head, he sees Haruzen standing there. And he's a little concerned and like he's a little concerned and a little upset that Haruzen's yelling at him for no reason. And Haruzen walks up to Naruto and asks him, does he have any idea what he's just did? And Naruto like looks at him and was like, No, I don't I'm not understanding what you're talking about. And uh Kakashi asks Naruto, does he remember anything that happened? And the last thing that Naruto said he remembers is when he um is when he saw Sasuke get stabbed by the Sinbon and then the the second thing he could remember is coming out the back of some weird type humanoid thing. Like some type of giant dude. So, uh, Haruzen gets a little bit angrier and tells Naruto that he's now made a reputation for himself. And Naruto is confused because he, from the last thing that he remembers, is that no one else was around when they were fighting. So, who else could have be spreading these rumors? So, as Naruto's wondering who started all these rumors, um, Kakashi was like, I think I have a pretty good idea on who. And they turn around, and it's like uh, Sakura in the back, and Sasuke tells um, Naruto. Well, Sasuke is also in the back, and he's like, yeah, she hasn't been able to shut up about it since we got back. And Naruto was like, why would you do that? And Sakura was like, I'm sorry, you just looked really freaky, and I had to tell somebody. I couldn't just keep that thing to myself. And Naruto looks at her and was like, I would keep it to myself if it was you. So Sakura tells Naruto that um, he should be happy because his abilities are strong. If he would have remembered what he did when he was fighting all those guys or fighting that one guy with the ice mirrors. And Naruto stops and he was like, wait, who won that fight? And Kakashi looks at him with like this like with this stupid look on his face and was like you you won the fight I'm pretty sure that was obvious <laughs> I'm sorry and after um Kakashi says that Naruto looks back at, he, at Sakura and tells her that um what uh, well, he asks her what type of rumors have, he, has she been spreading, but she refuses to say anything. And Sasuke looks at her and was like, if you were an actual teammate, you wouldn't have been spreading those rumors. And Sa Sasuke walks out the door, and Naruto goes back to talking to a very upset Haruzen, and Sakura is just sitting there in the back until uh, Hinata walks in. And Hinata only came because Ino and Tenten were going. And Neji too, because Neji and Naruto are kinda cool. So, when Hinata got there, Hinata asks Sakura why she's upset. And Sakura, being upset she tells her and Hinata gets really angry and 
this is the first time Sakura is seeing Hinata angry, so she's kind of taken aback and a little confused. And Hinata tells her that she should make up rumors about people just because she can't stop talking about a situation. You're not a friend, you're just a very manipulative person and a jerk. And she walks and she walks away and Sakura is just standing there. She doesn't know how to feel because now it does it seems like all of her friends just aren't gonna talk to her. So instead of telling everyone else, she kinda just kept it to herself. Which just made everything worse because Naruto had to tell them why everyone's calling well yeah had to tell them why he was mad at Hinata uh, not at Hinata at Sakura so um Hinata asks Neji that asks Neji if Naruto when he gets out can they do can they try to do a training session with him and Neji's confused because Naruto isn't going to benefit from it, but he's a little relieved to see that Hinata's actually trying to, um, train at least a little bit. So, as, like, um, Naruto, hold on. So after a few hours, Naruto gets released from the hospital that he was in. And when he's walking back to his house with his whole group of fans in tow, um, like Naruto's getting these weird glares, people staring at him. Like, like looks like as if they're scared or horrified or ready to do something if something happens. So like Naruto's trying to play it off like he doesn't see them and play it cool. But like, that's kind of crazy because these are the same people that was legit laughing at a joke, like laughing at his, like, like talking to him and laughing and making jokes with each other. Just a few like, from him, it was like just a few hours ago, but for everyone else, it was like days. So he's like, he's confused. So when he gets inside of his house, he asks his Sasuke, well, yeah, the Sasuke went with him. He asks, his, he asks his Sasuke, did like, what type of rumor did she spread? And Sasuke tells him that she didn't spread a rumor. She just told everyone what you did. And so Naruto looks at Sasuke and was like, what did I do? And Sasuke starts explaining to Naruto what he woke up to. And Naruto himself is in disbelief at the fact of what he, Sasuke just described. Because Sasuke basically just described as a 10 foot tall maniac running and screaming through like a, a, a group of like a hundred so wide like little bandits and shit and just mowed them all down and Sasuke tells Naruto that um I don't know where that came from but do you think you would be able to manifest it again and Naruto looks at Sasuke and was like I like how you were already on the same page as me didn't even have to say anything so Neji walks up to Naruto and he asks Naruto um about this training that he wants to start doing with him Naruto's a little confused but when he finds out that Hinata's also going to be joining he tries, he decides to make it like a friend's thing. So all of Naruto and his friends go to a small open little wooded area to train. And one day, Sasuke shot a fireball jutsu at Naruto because Naruto and Sasuke actually train like this. Um, 
and Naruto not being able to use um like use any throwable jutsu and he wasn't able to dodge out of the way he was thinking that he was going to get hit by it but like a voice in the back of his head just told him to uh, keep fighting and in the midst of all the commotion a big cloud of steam appeared and then like when it cleared up it was like a singed skeleton of the titan form and like they all started gathering around it and naruto like steps out of it confused but like amazed at the fact that he can do something like that and neji starts asking him questions like how did you get it to manifest what were you thinking about and naruto looks at him and was like i don't know i just heard a voice that kept telling me to fight and i pulled out i hold it i held out my arm like that to stop the fireball and that's what happened so neji was like so it could just be some primal instinct telling yourself to stay alive that activates the titan form and naruto was like titan form and neji was like oh my bad it was i, I read a book and what you basic what you basically turn into in the book they call them titans so you know i, I just called it a titan and Naruto was like, actually, that's not a bad name. I think I'm going to keep that. So, that entire day, they start trying to figure out what can keep, like, what... They're trying to see if, when Naruto goes into that form, if he can hold his, um, like, his consciousness. So, as they're training in the forest, they're being watched by Kakashi guy and Aruka and Guy was like I don't think this is very safe and Aruka tells him that if anything goes wrong they could just step in instantly it's not that serious I mean yeah his ability is a little strong and it gives him like the strength of three men right now um there's three of us and we all have like very experienced ninjas there's no way that he's killing like that he's stopping us we're going to put him down and uh like a few minutes pass and another person starts like like steps beside them and when they look it's a long guy with white hair and uh, Kakashi stutters a little bit when he says Jiraiya's name and Guy was like oh so this is Jiraiya pretty cool so Jiraiya like gets a little serious after telling everyone hey he gets a little serious and he asks uh, Kakashi about Naruto's situation and Kashi tells Jiraiya that right now they're letting they're letting Naruto try to figure out his power on his own before they get involved because if they get involved too early Naruto after developing his power could see it as a way of getting revenge because our methods could be more than just and Jiraiya laugh, like, like laughs a little bit and was like, yeah, tell that to Danzo. And Kakashi was like, aha, tell that to Orochimaru. And Jiraiya stops and was like, that was a low blow. Okay. Okay. And we go back into, like, from Naruto's perspective he's fighting Neji and Neji starts shutting off his chakra points but not the ones that are uh, fatal like the ones that stop you from moving 
and when Naruto is completely uh, like paralyzed on the ground and he can't move Naruto like he's just standing like he's just lying there and uh, Sasuke looks at Neji and asks him why'd he do that and Neji was like well if it activates when he's in stress or in peril he's paralyzed right now and from what I can see that thing when he activates it has its own skeletal structure meaning that it could also have its own organs and own separate like uh, digestive system and stuff like that and yes I know Titans don't have a digestive system or I mean, well they don't or do I don't know I don't fucking care really I mean Aaron doesn't eat people so I mean unless they're the Titans so um as like Kakashi as Sasuke and Neji are arguing Naruto like is Naruto's body begins to like give off steam and they start looking at Naruto and Jiraiya starts like paying attention more because this is something you don't see every day so after Naruto's body releases all the steam Naruto gets back up like nothing happened but he still is a little upset that he got um, paralyzed so he asks his um Neji to fight him again because he wants to see if this time could he activate that form and Neji was like nah I think that's enough for today it's starting to get dark we should get, we should start heading home and uh, Neji tells Naruto that um they'll see him in the they'll see them in the tuning exams tomorrow and Kashi, oh, uh, so Naruto asks him, what does he mean, like, basically, he's like, what does he mean by the tuning exams, and everybody tells Naruto that he's been out for so long that the tuning exams are about to start, and Kakashi already, uh, lined us up for our fights, so... Either way it go, you're gonna have to come, or you're just gonna get disqualified. And Naruto was like, uh, wow. Never felt so forced to do anything, ever. And, like, Naruto was like, so I'ma just go home now. Because apparently I gotta, I gotta get some sleep because I'm gonna be doing shit tomorrow. So Naruto walks off, and Sasuke was like, yo, I thought you were coming to my house for, uh, dinner, and Naruto just flicks Sasuke off, and, uh, Sasuke was like, oh, fair enough, and he walks off, and, like, when Naruto gets to his house, he hears a voice, like, when Naruto opens his door and gets inside of his house and shut his door, he hears a voice like coming from a little apartment room like bed like someone sitting on his bed and he turns around and he pulls out a kunai and the person that he sees is Jiraiya and Naruto asks him who is he and what is he doing here and before Jiraiya could answer Naruto tells him that it doesn't matter because now since you've entered my house without asking and you haven't gave me any proper identification yet if I don't believe the next few words that come out of your mouth I will kill you and Jiraiya smirks a little bit and this is where I'm gonna end this part off if you enjoyed the video drop a like if you enjoy my content please subscribe anyway this has been Shinobi Peace.